Hey guys, it's Mike. Uh, last night, or I guess this early this morning, around 2.40 a.m., I was coming home from a night out with my wife and my friend, and we're just about to exit to our house. And we're going about 70 miles per hour, and we're in the furthest, furthest right lane next to the emergency lane. And in my mirror, I see these this, these headlights, really bright headlights, coming up really fast. Now I'm going 70 miles per hour, and these lights are coming up so fast in my lane. So what I do is I scooch over as far as I could without going into the emergency lane. And all of a sudden, this car passes me up in my lane, straddling my lane and his lane, and brushing right past me. I mean, this car was so close, so close to hitting me. It it freaked me out. It freaked my wife out. It freaked my friend out. And I've seen some bad accidents, and I've been where the people have died. And this was like an eye-opening experience because... This was the closest call I've ever had. Now, this car was so close, he passed me up so fast, he must have been going double my speed limit because by the time he passed me up, he was so far down, I couldn't catch up. Luckily, he had a red light. So when I got up to the red light, I rolled down my window and I said, Hey, you you okay? Are you good? And he rolls down his window and he looks at me with these glazed eyes, bloodshot, and he's drunk. And he's like, Yeah, I'm good. And I asked him, hey, you need to slow down. Are you drunk or something? And he says, yeah, I'm drunk. I'm going to drive faster. So, you know, he comes back at me and telling me he's going to drive faster. The light turns green and he takes off. Now, for me, usually people who, you know, are driving a little bit weird, I really don't care. I'll just stay away from them. But, I mean, they almost killed me and my wife and my friend. So, I usually don't want to get into people's business, but I had to. So, I, I picked up the phone and did the right thing and called 911. I uh, followed him as much as I could, but he was going about 60 and picking up speed on the city streets. So I relayed the information to uh, the dispatch about the car, the color, the license plate. And this guy took off swerving through four lanes on the city streets. Um, it's a big it's a big street, but he's swerving between four lanes. And I mean, he's all over the place. And uh, we're passing a church, uh, passing a school, and uh, passing a, a middle school and a an, um, high school along the way i mean it's a 19 no one's around but i mean sooner or later he's gonna hit someone and uh just the fact that he didn't care how fast he was driving shocked me and uh, i've been to some really bad accidents i've seen some really terrible things and it's always these types of things where oh someone should have called in um you know called the police and let them know what was going on but i haven't had this close of a call in my entire life and I've been in you know pretty crazy situations but nothing this close I mean it's hard to describe it but he was so close to clipping us and if we were going 70 miles per hour and he was going well above the speed limit I mean double at least our speed limit if he would have just tapped the rear end we would have spun out we would have gotten into the dirt and into a solid wall and I mean, uh, we all wear our seatbelts. I mean, I'm big on the seatbelt, so I tell everyone you need to put your seatbelts on. So we don't know what could have happened, but I'm just glad we're okay. Uh, just a word of advice for you guys. You know, please put on your seatbelt. A lot of people don't for some odd reason. Um, a lot of accidents occur within five miles of your home, which we were only about two miles out. And obviously, drive defensively. Always watching your mirror, see what's going on. And a lot of DUI drivers are out after about two o'clock because that's when the bars close so when you are driving around you know please watch out because the last thing i want to know is you know one of my subscribers end up dying because of some stupid dui driver so i've had some friends who've died from dui drivers so it's you know a really big thing to me so whatever you guys are doing just make sure you're driving defensively watch out for other people because if you're watching out for other people you're going to decrease your likelihood of getting hurt or getting killed or someone else getting hurt you know just be mindful and this is only after a couple of days after my shop, my car got back from the shop. So, you know, I'm driving real careful and I'm looking around and I'm just, I was shocked that it happened last night. But I just wanted to make this video and just let you guys know my close call. And hopefully you guys spread the word or make, you know, you guys are more conscious when you guys are driving outside at night, especially after 2 o'clock on a Saturday night. So just be weary of those drivers out there because uh, it's pretty dangerous. I mean, some accidents are pretty gruesome. And uh, if you guys see it, call in. You know, 911 is there for a reason. It's there to protect us. So DUI drivers kill a lot more than just strangers dri- walking around. So you need to you need to call it in if you have to. But you guys have any thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment below. 
But uh, once again, guys, I just want to thank you for your support. And I made this video because I figured it'd be, it'd be a good, like, uh, you know, public service announcement for you guys. But besides that, thanks for watching, guys. I'll crank out some more videos for you. And as usual, you guys are the best. And I will talk to you later.